In this video we want to demonstrate how the FBI 4C unit can be used to remote control your application by using the Corina cloud service from Panasonic. Let's assume following use case. A maintenance technician located in Germany wants to do predictive maintenance for his machine. The machine is controlled by an FP0H PLC, however the machine is located somewhere in Asia. The technician's request is to remote control the machine with FPWIN Pro 7 programming software to avoid traveling costs to Asia. In the next steps we will show how to set up such an application. First step is to make the wiring between the FPI4C unit and the FP0H PLC. We use a serial RS232 connection in our use case. Second step is to open our FPWIN Pro 7 programming software in order to set the configuration parameters for the COM0 port on PLC side. Be aware that these configuration settings for COM0 port must be equal to the settings in the FPI 4C unit later on. We also create a sample program which simulates a running application. This program generates some sample data, which the maintenance technician in our use case will check later on. After all the changes are done, we download our program into our PLC. For downloading I use a simple USB connection. Third step is to configure the Corina Cloud. Therefore, we open the Corina Cloud app, which can be downloaded from our Panasonic website. We log in with our credentials. We need to create a device first. We go therefore to the tab Devices and click on Add Gateway. We enter following settings. Name will be FPI4C underscore Gateway. By the way, you can enter any name you want. Please remember this name, it will be used in the settings of the FPI4C unit to connect to the Corina Cloud later on. We select then our organization. Optional we can write in the description field Gateway to the Corina Cloud. Serial number is needed as well. It is the code which we received after purchasing the license. We also define a password for the connection to Corina Cloud for this device and confirm our password. We set checkmark enabled to true. We confirm the settings by clicking on add. Now let's go to the tab dashboard. We should see now the configured device with the status of offline. Fourth step is now to make the necessary configuration settings for the FPI4C. We therefore connect to the FPI4C unit by using a standard web browser. If you are not familiar with getting connected to the FPI4C, just have a look at video 1 in this training course. Once we are connected with the FPI4C via DHCP, we click on Application Settings, then COM Interface. We make sure that COM1 port of the FPI4C unit is enabled. We make also sure that the configuration settings for COM1 port are equal to the settings in the PLC for COM0 port. We also need to define a port number for forwarding the incoming data from the FPI4C Ethernet port to the FPI4C serial port. Let's save the configuration in order to activate the new settings.
Another configuration setting in the FBI4C is to connect our device to the Corina cloud. Therefore, we go back to System Settings, then Services, then Cloud Service. We click on Edit on the right top side and set following settings. Enabled to True, Auto Start to True. This will make sure that after reboot, it automatically reconnects to the Corina cloud. Server type is a cloud server. Server to default, so we leave the field empty. The username should look like this. FPI4C underscore gateway at Panasonic. That means that the device name has to be the same name as we entered in the cloud before. As password, we enter the password which we have defined in the Corina cloud for the device. We save the settings by clicking on Save at the top of the page. If everything goes well, the connection will be successfully established and we should see the device online on the dashboard of the Corina Cloud page. Fifth and last step is to get our laptop connected to the Corina Cloud. We start therefore the software tool Corina Cloud Connect on our PC laptop. On the Login tab, we click on the gear icon and set our login credentials. Our profile name is Remote Control, server type is Cloud Server, username is Cloud User at Panasonic, organization is Panasonic. Under Password, we enter our password and confirm the settings by clicking on OK. We log in now into the Corina Cloud by clicking on Sign In. After log into the Corina Cloud, we should land on the dashboard page. There we should see the gateway we have created before and the status should be online. Select the gateway and click on Connect to Gateway. Please note the VPN IP address of the gateway. This IP address will be used to connect to the FP0H PLC. We start FPWIN Pro 7 and open our project. We go now to Online, Communication Parameters and select Network Type Ethernet and set following parameters. The IP address of our computer will be automatically acquired when we check mark the box. Port number is 0. As destination IP address we enter the VPN IP address of our FPI4C which we saw before in the Corina Cloud. Port number for forwarding the Ethernet packages is 9094. We confirm the settings by clicking on OK. Now we should be able to get online. We try it by clicking on Online, Online mode. We should be online to the PLC via the VPN now. That's all for this video. To find out more about the features of FPI4C, feel free to check out the other videos on our Panasonic Academy website. Panasonic Industry